aboard. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, me who's Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in, and today is all about the top figures that I think Hasbro should make for us in 2022 in the Star Wars Black Series line. As you can see from my room, I am a massive Star Wars collector. I love Star Wars so much, it is my bread and butter when it comes to collect collecting. But I think there are some general emissions from the Black Series line that I can't believe they haven't made yet. So I think this year is the year they need to make them. Some of them make sense given the year, and some of them, obviously as well, are just my wish list of what I think they should make. But I hope they listen and make some of these figures, because it would be amazing. So, Hasbro, if you're listening, make these figures. I want them. But guys, let's roll straight ahead on number one and see what we've got on the list. Okay, so my number one choice, he was pictured recently on the Book of Boba Fett TV series. You know who I'm talking about. It's Kurdistan. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I always pronounced it Kurdistan when I read the comics. Yes, the big Wookiee from the Book of Boba Fett just got his live action debut after featuring in the Doctor Aphra comics. He is an amazing bounty hunter. He already knows Boba Fett as well. They already know who each other are from the comic books, which are canon. And he's uh, been on adventures with Boba Fett and Dr. Aphra, and he's even fought Han Solo and Chewbacca. It would be a very cool figure to have on the shelf, not only to go with, obviously, the Book of Boba Fett characters, but also our uh, Do Dr. Aphra and her droids as well. We're in desperate need of more comic book characters, and I think he would very well suit the line, because they're going to give him the realistic look. He's had a realistic portrayal now in the television series, and I hope he is the character that bridges between this series and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And now Obi-Wan Kenobi is a long time prior to this, but Curran Stan did, did, did actually have interactions with Obi-Wan Kenobi whilst he was looking after Luke in the desert. So it could be very cool to see that character get his origin story after Book of Boba Fett in the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. That would be an awesome figure that I would like in my collection right now. Make it for me. So this is a bit one that everyone said would never get made because of how she looked. It's Darth Talon. And yeah, she's got a very risque look, or she did have until very recently, when the Galaxy of Heroes game re-envisioned the character for the video game. And she now has a more modern, realistic look, to be honest. She's got some nice armor pieces, but still resembles the character that we all remember from Legends. However, now that she's had the makeover from Galaxy of Heroes, I can see them actually using this version as an action figure in the line. And they would be able to put her in the Gaming Great series and base it on the great on the Gaming Greats version, not the Legends version that we're used to. Very similar to how they did recently when they released the Jedi Darth Revan in the yellow in the in the, the Jedi Robes costume. Uh, they kind of just gave us that version. That was also from the Galaxy of Heroes game, and it was after the um, the video game released that version. So I could definitely see them giving us Darth Talon from the game rather than Legends. Then they're completely omitting the very risque costume, shall we say, that came with the original character. And I think she's a character that we'd all like in our collections at the end of the day to stand with the rest of our Sith characters. Do we even need to mention Mara Jade? I can't believe she's not been made yet. She's one Legends character that, yeah, I understand she's now Legends and we've got rid of it, but they made Jaina Solo first before they made Myra Jade. Are you insane, Hasbro? Myra Jade would sell like absolute hotcakes. She, she would fly off the shelves faster than anything I've ever seen. You have the Legends line. Give us Myra Jade. I don't need to say any more than this. Give us Myra Jade. It is basically a Mary Jane head with, uh, you could basically kit bash the thing. Just make it Hasbro, come on, give us Mara Jade. Again, it goes without saying, Return of the Jedi is coming up to its anniversary uh, in the next few years, and I can't believe they didn't make him first. It's Wicket. We've already got Papaloo, and and, and 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 the other one that I can never remember his name. Lo? No, uh, it'll come to me. Uh, I can never remember his name, but Wicket. Why have we not got a Wicket in Black Series? I don't understand. He's the, he's everyone's favourite of the Ewoks. He is the Ewok, the Ewok mascot. He's the thing you make the most merchandise out of except Black Series. We need a Wicket. Can't believe we haven't had it yet. Give us a Wicket. I, I, I was going to say that it is a smaller character. So it could come in a deluxe pack with another character. Uh, mainly, could we say, a new uh, Princess Leia with the costume that they make for her with the Ewok village? Ooh, that would be cool. I like that. 
But I don't think they're going to do that, because, you know, they probably won't. They'll probably just stick him in the pack on his own, a bit like what they did when they reboxed Pablo. Another amazing comic book character that I can't believe they haven't made yet, Valance the Hunter from the comics. He's been around for a long time, recently made a comeback in the comics with the Bounty Hunter series. And with Book of Boba Fett on the rise, and Bounty Hunters being the big thing, and Mandalorians, and everything's about that right now, how has Valance not even got a figure yet? That figure would sell, I'm telling you. And you know what? I'm surprised he hasn't made an appearance in live action yet. It's basically Cable. <laughs> they could even get the same actor that played Cable to play Valance in Star Wars with the similar outfit and it would look amazing. <sighs> Why haven't we got a Valance? Give me Valance. I want to stand him with uh, all, my red, all the rest of the bounty hunters. Plus... Obviously, he had that uh, Bob. He was in the Darth Vader comic books not that long ago. Um, that was based around Galaxy's Edge and stuff. Love to see a return of that character and bring him to the Black Series line, please, 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 please. Now, the the next few are definitely on my wish list, but I'd still, I don't believe they haven't made them yet. Ezra Bridger. I know we've got the basic Ezra. We've got the season one Ezra, the little tiny kid Ezra. He doesn't stay that like that for the entire program, which annoys me because the rest of the characters, okay, yes, that's their season one appearance, but they still resemble by, that by the end, kind of. Ezra goes through such a transformation. He basically comes of age in that program, and from season two onwards, he looks nothing like his figure. So I would love them to give us a season two onwards Ezra Bridger with the shortened hair, the new lightsaber, and just he, these scar lines and things that he had on his face. And with the fact that he's going to be coming in the new Ahsoka TV series, we already know he's going to make an appearance in the Ahsoka program, so give us the figure. I would love to see that figure in my in my Black Series collection, just because I would definitely take down the old Ezra and put the new one up. Even if it was just like an accessory set that gave us a new head to put on the body, do that. But still, his costume changed and everything, he got a new outfit, I'm saying a whole new figure would absolutely sell, and I cannot believe that figure has not been made yet. Sticking with Rebels... Can you believe that? Can you believe that they've they they said recently that the Rebels line was you know they kind of remade all the old ones and gave them new faces and they kind of went yeah there you go you got the Ghost Crew. We do we have the Ghost Crew but we don't have all the characters from the program that I want yet. We obviously Hondo came and we got him as a part of the Galaxy's Edge pro, you know, series. We finally got Ahsoka from Clone Wars and things. <coughs> so yes, most of the main characters are there. The Grand Inquisitor though. Why have we never had a Grand Inquisitor? I kind of get why they never gave us the Sister Inquisitor, because obviously they gave us the version from the video game, which is very similar, and it would basically just be a new face underneath the mask. I do get that, but come on. The Grand Inquisitor is such a cool villain, and he was so menacing. I actually found him deadly seriously menacing in that program, and I would love... And Jason Isaacs did such a great job voicing him. Why have we not got a figure of the Grand Inquisitor yet? I love his story arc and then it comes full circle by the end. Just such a great figure. Uh, sorry, such a great character. And I'd love the figure to be in my collection so that I can stand in with the rest of the Rebels crew. He's the Grand Inquisitor. We need him in the collection. I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. Savage Opress, where are you? How has he not been made yet? <laughs> we've got Cad Bane. We've got, uh, we've got um, Aura Singh. We've got so many of the awesome characters from Clone Wars, except Darth Maul's brother. To be fair, it took them years to give us a new Darth Maul, and it's only recently that they've given us an upgraded Darth Maul. Hopefully Savage is coming. It is, come on, it's, it's, a, it's a repaint with longer horns. Come on. Uh, why is he not here yet? They gave And they gave us the Knight brother before they gave us Savage Repress. Hmm, don't tease my emotions. <laughs> give me Savage Repress. Savage Repress is definitely one of those characters that I think so many of us that grew up like in Clone Wars, when when he came into it, it was cool to see him, and then they brought Darth Maul back. Oh my god, those two together fighting the Emperor and stuff. Such a cool episode. We don't really know what became of Savage Repress, or at least I don't. I never really read into the other... I know there's a couple of comic books that explain what happened after Clone Wars, but we kind of pick up with Darth Maul... And it's like not it's like that fight with 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 the emperor never happened in Clone Wars. So I'm very confused. And uh, I, yeah, I want to see what happened. Where and I know Savage Press got I think he got killed by the emperor didn't he in that in that episode I think. But either way, give me Savage Press. We need him in the collection. Finally, guys, this isn't a figure that I think we'll ever see. However, I would love it. Uh, it's, this is definitely my top wish list thing that I wish they would do in Rebels. 
Darth Vader is fighting Ahsoka Tano. And there's that very famous scene where half of his mask gets slashed away. And we see Anakin's face underneath Darth Vader's helmet for the first time. Obviously, we've only ever seen Darth Vader when he takes the helmet off. And it's the baldy, white-faced Vader. We haven't seen Anakin under that helmet yet. Not really. And I know they're going to probably do that in the Obi-Wan TV series. But Rebels did it first. And it looked awesome. That thing where he, where he just went, Ahsoka. <sighs> He's like, oh, and you could hear his voice underneath the voice changer. Having that as an action figure, a Darth, a battle, battle, like, um, what do you want to call it? A battle worn Darth Vader with that helmet piece and with the, with the, with the Obi Wan, with the uh, Anakin face underneath with the yellow eyes and stuff. That would make an amazing character. If you did a very good face sculpt on it, it would all be reliant upon the face sculpt. They would need to give it such an amazing face sculpt to make this work, but I'd love to see it. So that is my top wish list character that I would love to see them make. Do you agree with my selections? Let me know in the comments down below. Is there any figures then, things that I haven't mentioned that you would want to see them make? I'd love to know your thoughts and theories down below. Do you think any of my wish list will come true? Let us know. I'd love to have comments with you down below, guys. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a great 2022 so far. I've got some great videos coming up over the coming weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun, including a new series that I am producing, which I'm very excited about. It's called Toy Pitch. Basically, each episode is once a week, and I'm going to pitch to you a toy line that needs to return and how they can do it. I'm very excited to do it. We've got we, we, we have Disney, we have Thundercats. So much to talk about and the ways in which I think they could bring these iconic toys back into the modern world. So, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Supes, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye!